Hi, welcome to Equazer. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the memory uh, of this uh, Texas Instrument 3636X Pro calculator. Uh, many times you need to ha do some calculation and the value of the calculation will be used in many steps later in other calculations. So you need to store the value in the memory and then later on use it. So let's see how we can uh, do that. This calculator has uh, the following memories here. So we have X, Y, Z, T, A, B, C, D. So all these values are available. So uh, let's let's see. We have here X is equal to 2.56. So let's store it 2.56. Bring the value. The value could be you just entered it or the value could be the result of a calculation. So 2.56 and then for the store we press this store once you uh, press it it waits for the value so X press Y you see it goes through all the values so I'm just pressing it one X so the value now is stored in X now let's uh, store 5.10 into Y so 5.10 and then store so I brought y equal now let's do z um, pi times 3.8 so we get pi times 3.8 and we want this one into memory so store and then press this until you see z so z is there so the value have been evaluated and entered so this is 11.9 by the way the number of decimal points that we put here are set from here mode and here it's it's set at a float so we can either have a zero float or we can have as many as you want so let me do pi times 3.8 so that's minus but uh, we give we get the values so z now now let's put a a t into a a t store press it until you see a so a t is there i have fixed number so to recall any values this is the recall button here we can press second function recall once you press it the calculator will show you real time all the values which is better than any other calculator so far except the latest Casio FX991X which shows other calculators don't show it and you press it whatever comes but you can see the value sometimes you don't know the variable number name but you know the value from the value you might recognize it so just one so press it this way the value will come now let's say you want to do the calculation uh, G let's say G is equal to X plus Y plus Z so clear so two and then and in case uh, you need to clear the memory because sometimes uh, when I press uh, second function recall all the values if you want to clear them all because sometimes you need to clear it so press second function and then reset that's a zero and then it says reset yes or no for yes press two memory cleared now if I go second function and recall you will see that x y z and all of them will have zero press this X plus Y plus Z so once you bring a variable here on the screen it brings automatically the value with it so that is the evaluated value for using the memory that's it thank you for watching